In this video, we'll discuss what is probably the most underrecognized part of the SEO chore, and that is managing and cleaning your keyword list. In a typical day of SEO, this is usually the hardest part. So that's why we have a lot of tricks built into Keyword Researcher to help you out. We've gone through this a bit in the past, but today we'll get a little more advanced. So let's start out at the Google Keyword Planner. You might remember our example website is about the low carb diet. So let's do a couple basic searches. So we might try words like carb free diet. Go down and press get ideas. Let's go ahead and collapse the bar graph. And let's save that list to our hard drive. Now let's do a couple more phrases. We might try low carb diet. Let's save that one to our hard drive. And let's do one more. How about low carbohydrate diet? We'll save that to our hard drive too. So this is typically how an SEO day starts out. You usually start out at the Google Keyword Planner and you type in some general ideas and then you get some CSVs on your hard drive. You can see our three files right there. We've been through this before, so let's quickly now import our files into Keyword Researcher. So we'll start up Keyword Researcher and click Start. Now let's go ahead and collapse our article tree so we have some more room. And we'll click on our Import to CSV File tab. Let's drag this over a bit so we can see. And of course, to bring in our three files, we simply drag them into the green drop zone. Now we got over 1,500 keywords from those files. Let's go ahead and click this Move button here. And that will move the files into our keyword grid. Let's go ahead and slide our panel over to make some more room and see what we got. Okay, so we just moved our keywords into our main project. So typically at this point, you want to sort by the average monthly searches. We can do that by right clicking on the column header and then just clicking the Z through A button. That will put the largest values on top. And let's take a brief moment to understand the three different types of keyword lists. We've gone over this before, but it's just the white list, the gray list, and the black list. You can see by default, all of our keywords are on the gray list. But just to repeat, the white list is for keywords that you do want on your website. The gray list is for keywords that you are not sure about or have not sorted yet. And the blacklist is for keywords that you do not want on your website. So recall that our example website is a carb-free diet website. So right away I can blacklist the gluten-free diet, I can blacklist the Mediterranean diet, I can blacklist the cabbage soup diet. These are three other non-related diet programs that reflect keywords that most likely I will never need for a carb-free diet website. So you can see now that they are assigned to the blacklist. So that's one way to do it, but in Keyword Researcher, there's a lot of little tricks that will let you do this faster. The first trick is to use a negative keyword list. So let's go ahead and slide that out. So in this box, I can type words that I know that I'm not going to need on this website. So I know right away that because I have a carb-free diet website for my example website, I'm not gonna need the word gluten, so we'll just type that here and click apply. So what just happened is Keyword Researcher has gone through our list of keywords and every time it encountered the word gluten, it assigned that keyword to the blacklist. This top one here, we actually did that with our mouse, but we can see that the app has affected all the gluten words. We can type in the word gluten in the search box and we'll notice that this particular project has four keywords that contain the word gluten and all four of them are now on the blacklist. So this is the value of the negative keyword list tab. A big part of proper keyword list management is maintaining a good negative keyword list for your project. Because now in the future, every time I bring in new keywords from a CSV file or whatever, those keywords will be immediately blacklisted and I never have to actually look at them again. So it's important to understand and use this negative keyword list tab. But now let me show you an even faster way. Let me slide this over and I'll clear our search filter. Let's go ahead and hide our suggested bid column to get some more room. We can click the eyeball icon here and that will hide the column. We'll slide this over a bit. 
So recall, the example website is a carb-free diet website. So this means I'm not really interested in detox diet or anything to do with detox. So what I can do is hold the Alt key down on my keyboard and click the detox. And you notice what happened is that the word detox just flew up to the top right here of our negative keyword list. And Keyword Researcher has gone through our entire keyword list and searched for any word that contained the word detox. You can see it found two, detox diet and detox diets, plural. And those two words have just been assigned to the blacklist. Let's do it again. I don't need the Ducan diet, so I can alt click on Ducan and you can see the same thing happened. In this case, it only found one keyword that contained Ducan, but let's try some others like HCG diet. I just blacklisted two more there. Let's scroll down a little bit and look for some more keywords to blacklist here. You can see here we have diet pills, and if we don't actually sell diet pills, then we can add that to the negative keyword list. And we just moved six more keywords to the blacklist. Here we have a bread product, Ezekiel bread. Here we have a keyword diabetic. Now recall we have a low carb diet website and perhaps the owner of this website would use this keyword, but in this example, let's assume that he didn't have any information for diabetics. So let's all click on that word. And we just sent five more keywords to the blacklist. Okay, so just in the few moments I've been talking, you can see we actually sent 22 keywords to the blacklist. So that's 22 keywords that we'll never have to worry about again for this project. So again, in the future, as we bring in new keywords to our project, if any of those keyword phrases contain these keywords, they'll be immediately put on the blacklist and we never have to worry about them. We don't even have to see them if we don't want to because in the top here we have our list filters. If I click this, I just see the whitelist and we haven't whitelisted anything, so there's nothing there. Here's the gray list and here's the blacklist. There's our 22 keywords that we have blacklisted in this project. Now typically you'll just wanna see the white and gray list. This is usually the view you'll want to be in because you'll notice that when I have these two lists selected, then anything on the blacklist never troubles me because as soon as I click that button, it just disappears. I just sent the word diet to the blacklist. We can assign carbohydrates to the blacklist or Ezekiel bread to the blacklist, GM diet, vegan diet, etc. Again, this is just an example, but the whole point here is that Keyword Researcher gives you complete control over which keywords you can see. A lot of the SEO job is just eliminating noise from your project. It would be very tricky to do that without a tool like this. That's probably the hardest part of the job. So let's go through another trick. We have a few words here like weight loss, lose weight fast, weight loss tips. Now we can, of course, just click the blacklist swatch here one by one or we can do a multi-selection. We can hold down the control key on the keyboard and let's just select a couple words we might not want on our website. You can see now I have one, two, three, four, five keywords that are colored blue in our project. And I was able to multi-select by holding down the control key. Now, if I right click with my mouse, I see here assigned to blacklist. I can click that and you'll notice that all those keywords are disappeared because they've all been sent to the blacklist. So that's how you multi-select in Keyword Researcher. Let's try another trick. So a big part of SEO is just assigning keywords to logical articles on your website. You can see here we have this article column here, which is currently blank but because we haven't assigned any keywords to articles yet. So let's go ahead and expand our article tree. And you'll notice here we have the words low carb recipes and low carb foods. So perhaps those might be assigned to the same article. So let's just use a generic title here like my favorite low carb foods. I'll scoot this over a little bit so you can see this might be a very generic content article about low carb foods and recipes on your website. So to assign keywords to articles, we simply do a drag and drop. That's one way to do it. But if you want to assign multiple keywords at the same time, Again, you can hold down the control key and click on the other keyword. And now you notice both of these are blue and we'll hold control again. And that'll direct Keyword Researcher to drag both keywords over at the same time. So in this fashion, you can multi-select keywords with the control key. And of course, the control key will also let you multi-drag keywords. You'll notice that these keywords have now become associated with our new article.
So let's go over one more way to manage keywords. We'll collapse our article tree to make some more room and we'll slide it over. And let's click on the item information tab. Now you'll notice on the bottom here, we have a panel called keyword tags. Keyword tags are similar to WordPress tags or any other taxonomic tags that you often find in programs or on the internet. Basically, it's just a label that lets you mark a keyword in a certain way. So if we scroll down here, you can see we have the Hollywood diet, the hypoglycemia diet, and the lean muscle diet. So we can assume maybe that those were competitors to the client's website. So we might want to tag them so we can keep track of them later. I can come here and make a new keyword tag. I'll type my competitors and I'll click the icon. Now I can just assign the tag to the keywords by just doing a drag and drop. So these three keywords are now tagged with the label, my competitors. Now you can see that if I drag this down here, you'll notice the little gray tag here in the assign keywords tag section. I have three keywords selected right now, but I can just select the top one and we see the same thing. Or I can move my article tree over and let's go ahead and hide our article column to get some more room. And you'll notice the tag is also printed here as well next to our three keywords. This is very useful because if you ever wanted to locate just these three keywords again, if you ever wanted to locate your competitors, then you can just click on the integer here and you'll notice that our grid has now been sorted so that it only shows our three competitors. This is really very useful because it allows you to view only the keywords that you are concerned about at any given time for as many number of keyword tags that you make. And that can be very useful. So I hope you enjoyed this video on keyword list management in Keyword Researcher. And if you have any questions, contact us via the website. Thanks for watching.